Today's video is how to set up a two-way toggle switch for a throttle cut. So let's get started. Setting up a two-way position throttle cut can be done by default on the back left, which is SF, or if you've done a reverse kit, back right on SH. We need to set up an override for channel three, and that's going to be the channel you use, whether you're using a throttle output on a different channel or channel three. So the way we set this up, push the model button. We go to the special functions tab at the top. We're going to add a special function. We're going to use special function one. If you have stuff already added to this menu, just use the next one that's available. So we'll push SF1. We want to trigger this special function by pulling SF down or towards us. If you want to have it where you push a switch away and up, just use the opposite. So we're going to click on trigger and we're going to actually toggle the switch in the position that we want, which is SF1. As I mentioned, if you want to go the other way, just use SF up. We want it on override, which we've already got selected. And then we change it to channel three. Now the value you want to change from zero to negative 100. That allows when you flip the switch, it's going to change channel three to minus 100, which is low throttle. Touch outside the screen, get the menu to pop away, and then click Enable. You'll notice when I did that, SF1 is highlighted at the top. When you flip this off, SF1 becomes unhighlighted. And again, when we turn it on, it becomes highlighted. Now we've got our special function set up. Now let's verify on the monitor that we have channel 3 override when we want a throttle cut. As I mentioned earlier, whether it's a protocol that's on channel one or three for throttle, you always set this up to three. So we're gonna push the model button and you'll notice there's a lock icon next to channel three. That lets you know that there's an override on channel three. So while our throttle cuts on, we move the stick up and down. You will notice that the output doesn't change, but the mixer is. The mixer is seeing the stick movement, however, the receiver sees the output. So if that number stays at minus 100, then your throttle will be disabled. Now I'm going to move the switch down and the lock will go away. Now you will notice when I run the throttle up and down that both numbers move so the receiver will see the throttle input. Now something to keep in mind, this is just a basic throttle cut. So right now we're around 26%. I can put the throttle cut on, it will disable. If the stick is not all the way down and you have it somewhere up, given the receiver throttle, when you click the throttle cut off, it will instantly go to that value. So be careful with a prop plane or EDF when you're setting this up because it will get instant throttle. So just remember, it's a basic throttle cut. Now we've set up a basic throttle cut on the two-way position switch. You found this video informative today? Go ahead and push like on the video. If you want to see future TX16S tutorials, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.